you know, education is the infrastructure to the needs of our larger society everywhere in the world. And I'm so pleased that you're here today to have the opportunity, a really fortunate opportunity, to hear from um, a WMU alumna, one that we're extremely proud of, uh, Dr. Tarai Trent. And before we came in, I had the opportunity to, to talk a little bit with uh, Tarai about the work that she's doing. And on behalf of all of us, I commend it to her. We will be with her, this university, in whatever way that we can to support her, to help her in the great work that she's doing. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, you're really here to hear our guest speaker today. I want to uh, ask you to join me in giving a very, very warm Bronco welcome to one of our most distinguished among us, uh, Dr. Tarai Trent. Bob Bronco! <laughs> Thank you for inviting me to come back home. It's always good to be home. This is the place that I call home. This is the place that I rested my case. A world comprised of almost 800 million people who cannot read and write. Three quarters of that number belongs to women and girls. The consequences of illiteracy by the number of women and girls that are infected by HIV and AIDS. Today we have 34 million people that are infected living with HIV and AIDS. And Africa, we have 23 million of that 33. Women and girls comprise of 60% of the infections. There is something wrong with that number. My story also helps you to understand that about 100 to 140 million of girls under the age of 7 and 10 years are going through genital mutilation as we sit here. Today, 25,000 girls are being forced to marry on a daily basis. It is through education that we can empower ourselves. Western Michigan University stood by me. I had five children. It was difficult, but the university was always there for me. I worked with Dr. Corin. And it was amazing because he never knew my story. I never shared my story. But probably the university, they saw my commitment. And that's why they stood by me. And I will forever remain grateful to this university. Thank you. Good job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.